Has anyone ever had a dirty car or currently have a dirty car? If you're like me, then you do, because my car is always dirty. So today I'm gonna be telling you about uh, some steps and how to do a detail the proper way without you know, causing any further damage to your vehicle or make sure, making sure it's in good shape and good condition. So whenever you wanna sell it or if you just wanna keep it in good condition. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to just wash your vehicle and get everything off of it that is uh, like any deep contaminants in the paint or just mud that's on the side if you went off-roading or something and you got some mud you need to get off of it because you don't wanna, you don't wanna try to go straight into the wash and just wash it with the mud on there because you're gonna cause scratches on the vehicle if you do that. So first off, you're gonna take the pressure washer, pressure wash the car, and um, after you're through with that, you're then gonna get the two buckets and fill one up with uh, soapy water and then one up with um, just regular water. <clears throat> so then what you're gonna do after that, you're gonna take your uh, wash mip, dip it in the soapy water and then start wiping the car down in straight lines instead of doing it in circular motion because that can cause swirl marks. After you do that, you're then gonna begin to do the uh, dry down or not, you don't go to the dry down, you're gonna begin doing the, uh, you're gonna rinse it off with the pressure washer after you do that, and then you'll go back and do the dry down and make sure you're doing it in the uh, straight lines instead of doing a circular motion. After you get the vehicle dried down and you got the wheels cleaned and all that good stuff, you're then gonna do the clay bar. When you start with the clay bar, you wanna make sure that the car is clean, the wash is done, everything's good, because the clay bar, what it does is it pulls out any of the contaminants inside the paint that the wash cannot get out. So when you start doing that, you go over the whole vehicle with a uh, bar clay, and you're going to use a lubricant, such as like a final detailer or something. Uh, I like to use uh, Chemical Guys uh, Final Detail Spray. It works really good. After you, be, after you get done doing the uh, clay bar, then you make sure you dry it down after you clay it. And then after that, you're going to start doing the wax. So you can do, there's many different types of waxes you can do. Um, there's just your general uh, cleaner wax, which is a dual action polisher. And a dual action polisher is mainly for just making it shine really good. There's no like correction involved. And then you have a rotary polisher. And that's that's where you're gonna try to get the scratches out of the paint. It's just a drill, basically a dual action is basically a circle within a circle. A rotary is just like a drill, you just drill straight in. And um, with that, it makes the car shine really good and it gets all the swirl marks out. Uh, it, it's just a really good um, way to get your vehicle looking good. After you put the wax on with a uh, buffer, rotary, or dual action, whichever your uh, paint needs, whatever kind of condition it's in, you're then gonna take the wax off with a microfiber towel. After you do that, the vehicle, you make sure there's no wax on the vehicle whatsoever. Um, Cause if you do leave wax on the car, it could seep into the paint and eat away the paint. Um, you don't wanna leave any wax on there, but when you're done with that, you can do your put your tire shot on and after your tire shine, I like to go to the windows, put some rain -X on the windows. And if you want to take it a step further, you can do a uh, ceramic coating. Um, ceramic coating is very expensive to do. It's like a glass that goes over your car. Uh, you don't need to have any kind of uh, paint defects or no scratches or any of that if you do the ceramic coating. Um, after that, you want to start on the inside of the vehicle and you just take all the big items out that the vacuum can't get and you'll go in there vacuum it out you'll do the leather or if it's a fabric seat you'll shampoo it as well as the carpet you'll shampoo that you can take all the seats out uh, make sure you get all the cracks and uh and that's underneath the seat make sure you get all the trash and all that out of there to get the best uh results at the end and then you can put your um i like to think of it as wax in a car or the outside, you know, you'll clean it all first and then you'll put your uh, protectant over it, which would be armor all or a leather conditioner. After you apply your leather conditioner, you would go to the inside of the windows, you know, wipe those down. Um, after you wipe those down, everything should be 
pretty much done at this point. You can put the seats back in there. And uh, that's pretty much all you do. And that's all there is to detailing. It's uh, in conclusion, um, detailing a car is, is very important uh, to a lot of people and some people don't take it very serious. Um, but if you ever want to sell the vehicle and you want to keep it in good condition, it's, it's good to get it detailed every once in a while. Um, it's good to take value in things that you pay for and take care of it. Thank you.